Sophie Leather was a passenger on another bus understood to be operated by RAL on Saturday, travelling between National Park and Whakapapa, that's on the other side of the mountain. Sophie bought her ticket from a kiosk at National Park Village, which only sells tickets for RAL shuttle services. Her $6 return ticket left National Park at 9.15am and returned at 1.15pm. She was so shocked by the inside of the bus that she took photos of it to make a complaint. As you can see in the photo, some of the chairs are actually held together with, like, wire, it appears to be, or string. And that's not even all of the chairs in the photo. Like, the um, not included in the photo, the chair in front of me was fully broken, not held up by any wires, and I was trying to hold that up with my feet. And there was, you know, alcohol bottles, which you can see in the photo, holding in the cup holders. There was um, a handle on the back of the chair, which was where the joke was made about a crash, you know, like if someone went to brace himself, we went around a corner and a lady went to brace herself and her child. And just going around a small corner, the entire handle came off the chair. And so we were pretty all horrified at that, to be honest. We all started talking about how dangerous it was. And then just to see that there was a crash that same day, that was pretty horrific. It just made me really question that if maybe the safety conditions of the bus were better, maybe the outcome could have been different, you know? So Sophie, maybe. just to confirm, you were so struck by the state of the seating inside the bus, and we need to set that aside from what was in the engine, but you took photos and the passengers were discussing it as you travelled. Yes, yes. As I said in the photo, you can see there's a handle that slightly come off the back of the chair. We went to um, go around the corner and a mother and her child went to brace themselves using that handle and the entire thing came off. And that's why I thought I should take a photo because that made me start to wonder about the safety conditions and if something did happen, whether the bus would be providing safety for the people in it. Um, people discussing this, I've heard a lot of people discussing the situation that's gone down and a lot of people are initially just trying to put the blame onto the bus driver. But I feel that... Even if it was the bus driver's fault, the conditions of the safety in the bus could have changed the outcome drastically either way. Drastically? You really feel that strongly about the inside of that bus you were on? I really do. Like, I really, really do. If, for instance, if you were in a bus, where would you try to brace yourself if you and, say, your child were in that bus and it crashed? You would want to, you know, maybe brace your child under you and hold on to that handle so you weren't perhaps moving around the bus. And in this bus, that's what shook me, because a mother and her child went to brace themselves, and the handle came off. So I kind of thought, wow, you know? And we all started discussing what would happen if there was a crash. And now, looking back on it, I feel really bad. Sophie Leather, Checkpoint contacted RAL about the state of that bus, asking why the vehicle is on the road. RAL CEO Ross Copeland and Chairperson Murray Gribben have both refused to give an interview, but Mr Copeland told us by email he's looking into the situation. If we hear any more uh, on that, we will update you, of course.